Okay, welcome back to our grade 10 maths lesson. I am Miss Awinup. In today's lesson, we are going to look at applications of quadratics. Okay, applications of quadratics. Now, we've looked at a couple of things under quadratics, how to solve, how to draw the graph of a quadratic equation. Now we're going to look at how some of these skills can be applied. Okay, so let's... Uh, go through an example. We have an advertising company that needs to make a leaflet. Okay, a leaflet uh, in the shape of a rectangle. All right, so a leaflet needs to be three centimeters longer than it is wide. Okay, so its width will be re represented by W. Okay, and Another specification is that the length must be 3 centimeters longer than its width. So we can say this is W plus 3 centimeters. Okay. On top of all that information, this advertising company needs to make the leaflet 88 square centimeters. All right. Or its area needs to be... 88 square centimeters, okay? So this is the information we have. The leaflet needs to be 88 square centimeters. Its length is three centimeters longer than it is wide, all right? So how are we going to use this information? We need to form an equation, all right, before we actually find the value of W, all right? How do we do that? Okay. We are going to use the area formula for the area of a rectangle, okay? So we know that when a rectangle or when we have a rectangle, the area is found by multiplying uh, the length, okay, times the width, okay? So area of a rectangle is equal to length times width. Let's put in the information that we have into our formula. So area is 88 square centimeters. Our length is W plus 3 and our width is W. Okay. So once we have all that information in an equation, we simplify and solve. Okay. So Remove the brackets here by multiplying the term outside by each term in the brackets. Okay, so we have 88 equal to W times W, which is W square. Okay, W times 3 will give us 3W. Okay, now you can already tell that this equation is a quadratic equation because the highest power is 2. Okay, so if it's a quadratic equation, we are going to need to factorize it in order to solve it. So let's take 88 across to this side of the equation so that we have 0 on one side. Okay, and we have w squared plus 3w minus 88. Okay, now we are getting somewhere. Okay, so... Let's look at the third term. We need to find the factors of the third term that will give us a sum of positive 3. All right. Now, what are the factors of negative 88? We have negative 11 and positive 8. And we also have negative 8 and positive 11. Now, which pair of factors will give us a sum of positive 3? That would be the second pair of factors here, all right? So what are we going to do with this? We have to put it in brackets, 
All right, as a set of factors, 0 is equal to W plus 11 and W minus 8. Okay, so once we get to this point, we are going to apply the null factor law, which we've already seen, where each factor will be equal to 0. Okay, and we have 0 equal to W minus 8. Okay, we're going to solve for W, move 11 across to this side. So the first instance, we have W equal to negative 11. And here, we have W equal to positive 8. Okay, now which is the most appropriate answer? Remember, we're dealing with length and width, so we cannot use negative 11. Never will you find length or width as a negative number. So the most appropriate answer would be 8. Okay, so let's check that. We have our rectangle. All right, with a width of 8 and a length of 8 plus 3, which is 11. So area equal to length times width, which is 11 times 8. The length is, sorry, area is 88 square centimeters. Okay, which makes this answer correct. Okay, so as you can see, we've applied quadratic uh, equation to help us find the length and the width of our leaflet in this example. Okay, I hope you've learned something new. This is uh, the end of our lesson. It is also the last lesson in this term. Okay, I hope you have uh, learned a lot and have enjoyed our time together. In our next uh, lesson, or in the next term, we are going to look at geometry, specifically how angles and lines are related. Okay, so how angles are formed by lines. I hope you can join me then because we have more interesting things to cover. Once again, I'll see you then.